Hello, Jessica Dierbricks here, back for another review, and today I'm reviewing set number 10675. It's part of the Lego Juniors line, and it's of course a 2014 set. And it is recommended for ages 4 to 7, has 146 pieces, 3 minifigures, and in the United States it retails for $30. Now this is just starting to show up in stores, I got this from Toys R Us. Now let's take a look at the packaging. So here's a box for the set, I love these Junior boxes for that red color. And they really display the set in a very fun manner. Only thing, like I said, is I don't like these little corner arts. They just look really like they're rendered really weird. I don't know, because they have those little shades on them, but they're like a cartoony image. And his face doesn't even match any of the faces in this set, because you can see that face is just a traditional little smirking face. And this one has like pointy eyebrows and like kind of a weird, less detailed face. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But other than that, it's a very sturdy box and a really cool box for those reasons. And you can see on the back, uh, they have all the little play features and stuff like that, and it shows that it's easy to build. And it does include this one instruction booklet, which is pretty big, I guess you could say length and width-wise, but it's not really big with instructions because, you know, it's, it's really kind of a quick build. And they have some really cool art in here, which is, goes with a lot of the other junior sets. You can see I kind of like the art in this one better than the art we find on that little corner art on the box. They also have some artwork right here. So that is really cool. And... They have a little advertisement for the junior sets, and then right here, they don't even show like a specific set like they kind of do with the superheroes junior sets. And they just kind of show the whole police lineup for this year, which is kind of interesting and uh, choice wise. But that's really it for this set, or for this little instruction booklet. And now onto the minifigures. Okay, so here's the first minifigure, and it's just kind of a generic police officer. He does have some nice torso printing, but it's not anything new because we have seen that in a few sets in the past three or four years. You can see his back printing right there just says police, no double-sided face or no light printing. And he just has that regular smirking face that we're so used to seeing. And his hat is very nice in that color, but it's not new in that color at all. And it comes in lots of sets in that color. It's just that I haven't really, I don't think I have much sets with that hat in that color. So that's pretty cool. The next police officer is this guy with kind of an angry face. You see his torso is the same as the last police officer which means some back printing, which is pretty nice, but no leg printing, same hat as the last guy, and that face is so common. So that's really it for this minifigure. So here is the crook, and you can see he uses that torso that was introduced in the Force Police sub-theme, and he has no leg printing, which is really disappointing, but he does have this little uh, pick right here, which is kind of a piece that was introduced in 2011, along with the backpack piece, which he also has, and you can see that right there. Uh, that's a very nice piece, and you do get two $100 bills, which are always nice to get because uh, it's never a bad thing to have a lot of money. <laughs> and he has no uh, back facial printing. And he does come with this little beanie right here. And if you take off his backpack, you can see that he does, however, have some back torso printing, which is really cool. It's a very detailed back torso printing. And you can see the detail of his head is kind of that detail that we have. I think it was introduced in either 2000 in 11 or 12, I think it was 2012, and it has that beard and a little scar right there, and he's kind of grinning or smirking, which it's always a nice little printing, but I think it's becoming more and more common, which isn't a good thing. But that's it for this minifigure, and now onto the set itself. Okay, so here is the set all together. You get the station, and you get some of these vehicles right here, and a little doggy. So first we'll take a look at the vehicles. Okay, so here are the two vehicles, and then a little dog. First up, for the dog piece, it's just the one that we've been seeing since 2011. So you see that this piece, or this set, uses a lot of 2011 pieces in general. Uh, it is kind of like, I guess you could say, a German Shepherd. And that's really cute. I do love getting little dogs in these sets. So it's just a nice little addition to the set. Nothing too special about him, particular to the set, but still, very nice to get him. And then you do get this motorcycle right here, which is basically the motorcycle that we've been getting for a lot of these police sets because it has that mold and then it has the white color. Uh, and it's very common in city police sets, like I said. So it's not anything too special, but it's always nice to get a little motorcycle, I guess. Uh, nice little addition because I actually do not have, or I think I have one white motorcycle because I don't really buy police sets in particular. So I, I guess I'm kind of glad to have it in this set. But since they don't use studs, there's, it's weird because they have these little t uh, cylinder pieces that they use. So it looks like it's raised up, and I don't know, it may look a little bit weird. But I do use this little rod right here, uh, which is interesting. So that's it for the little motorcycle, and of course you could fit 
a minifigure on there just by putting them like that and then you can position their arms to make it look like they're riding it or whatever. So that's it for that. And then there's this little buggy. You can see I already put the minifigure there, but inside there's just this little seat piece, which you know is just a common seat piece that we're used to getting. But they use this piece right here, which is the new frame that is found in these junior sets, which is basically just one whole piece that has the axles right here to put these little tires on. And the rest, it has studs so you could put little slopes and stuff like this on there. It's very reminiscent of, I think, some of the early 2000s. I think it's uh, four junior sets. I believe they have like a one whole mold out of, of like similar to this, but it's not the exact same. And I actually like this one better because it's a little bit sleeker. Uh, and you can see the front has this police logo right here, which is also found on the police station. I don't really like the logo itself. It looks a little bit too tacky for me. Uh, but I can see kids probably liking that. And this part right here though, this is a very nice printed piece. This could be used in a few, or you could use it in a lot of little uh, cars and stuff like that in your city. So that's nice to get as a printed piece. And there's these little rims right here. And on the back, they have these little lights. And like on the inside, you can see there's a steering wheel right there in the seat. And then they have this top part with the tiles and everything, this little window piece. So yeah, it's a cute little build. I guess you could say it's a police buggy. And now onto the actual station itself. Okay, so here's the police station itself. Just a quick look as an overview look. You can see there's this little side door right here in the side window. And the inside has all these little details that we'll get a closer look at it later. And then the side part has a little jail cell. Okay, so to start, you can see with this little front part right here, it uses that new, I guess you could say, gateway piece that's found in these junior sets, which is one whole mold. And they have these little studs on the side so you can attach stuff like this to there. It is a very solid and it's a very sturdy piece. And it's used in this set, the castle set, and the bat cave set, I believe. And then they have these little parts right here because, you know, they can't use studs, so they use a lot of these little cylinder parts. Uh, and then there's this little driveway piece right here, this little slope piece that there's actually two of in this set. There's one on the back and one on the front. And that's a whole printed piece right there. So it's nice to get that printed piece because that can be used in like city scenes and stuff like that. Um, there's this little raising little gateway right here, this raising, I forget what it's called, but you can raise it up and down and it uses tiles to kind of convey that look with the color. So I guess it's like, a, I can't, I keep on forgetting what it's called, but uh, they'll have to raise the gate if you want to put your little buggy in there. So you wheel it in like that. And there's this little trash can right here. Down the side, you can see they use this very nice printed P or printing on this window piece, which is kind of like a window panel. And this is found in a lot of junior sets too. And it's actually, there's two styles in this set. There's two of these right here that have that printing. And there's one that has just the white coloring, which is actually really nice. And we'll get to that later because that's on the other side. But to get it in that color, you could use that in a lot of jail pieces in your regular Lego city. So that is very nice. And on the side right here, there's this little jail cell, which of course you could open and close and put a little crook in there and he fits in there quite well, but I don't think you would like to put him in there with his little pick because then he could break out of this little police station. And there's this side part right here which uses some of these slope detailing. And like I said, on the other side, they also use another copy of that piece that we saw. And right here, this piece fell off. That's the only thing with these little pieces that are like this, which they're really nice to get. They do tend to fall off a lot when you move it around, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But other than that, I do like getting them. And you can see that they use this detail right here. And I just notice that's off a little bit. They use this tile, uh, one by four tile. And that tile is actually not like new to juniors with this printing. Uh, it's also used in a lot of studio sets, I believe, unless this is a new print totally, which it doesn't look like it. It looks like the one that was also used in studio. So that's nice to see that getting returned. It's always usable. And so it's nice that, you know, they didn't make just a whole new printed piece just for this. And that kind of printing continues onto this part right here, which I showed on the front too, because it's also on the front. And you can see with the middle part, you can see a little bit of the whole big mold. It's like a plate. And this is found in a lot of uh, junior sets too. It's found in this set, the Bat Cave set, and the Pony Farm set, I believe. Uh, and I think maybe the Castle set in the summer. I need to get a better look at that. And maybe even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles junior set. But it's just one whole big little plate like that, which is really cool. 
and it has a detail right here, which is kind of printed detail, where it has kind of these little brick, or kind of, I guess you could say, I don't even know the term for it, maybe like a, a, a oof, I don't know, like a concrete detail, that's a good term for it. It's kind of like a con concrete detail where they have these little specks and these little square things that look like a little bit like a tile or a stone or something like that. Also, they have this printed computer right here, which isn't a new print or anything like that. And they have this phone right here, which you'd take off and, you know, use around. It is also in the back cave set, but it's not a new mold altogether, but it's just, it's getting a lot of use nowadays compared to a few years ago. So that's really nice. On the side, they have the key to the little jail cell right there, which is kind of funny that they just really put it out in the open, but it really kind of leaves to imagination. Also inside this little gateway piece, you can see that there's all these little details, like there's a clock right there. There's what looks to be maybe like a, maybe the passcode for this little rising up piece right here. Uh, there's some pictures of the crook, which basically shows just a regular Lego minifigure head with a beanie on. Uh, there's this little button right here, and then there's this map of the city. So that looks all very nice. I like to get all that nice printing on there. And if you move it to the side right here, you can see the detail with the side door, which looks really kind of modern. And you could open and close that. But the really cool part right here, and ooh, voice crack, that's not good, uh, is this little window where you could open and close. And it uses that window panel that I showed with the jail cell in white without any printing, which could be used in your city setup, which is really cool. So it's nice to get that piece. And if you want to go to the top, like I said, you can see these pieces keep on falling off because they're not really sturdy if you're moving it around. Uh, but if you go to the top, you can see they use a lot of these roof detail pieces right here. Uh, in blue, which they use some right there, and then they use some on the side, and then this 2x2 two two one. And, and they have this little ladder right here, which I guess you can make the minifigure climb up the ladder and mess with the surveillance camera or whatnot. And that has a printed little surveillance tape right there. So yeah, it's really nice. It's, there's lots of little details here and there, and also I forgot this little stand right here, which comes with a handcuff and this little walkie-talkie. So that is it for a set. One last look overhead. You see all the little details right there inside and then on the front. So now on to the final verdict. Overall, this set is really, really fun to play with. Sure, it may not appeal too much to older builders like the Batcave will, and the Batcave in this set for the Juniors line are really similar sets. But I really do like just the playability features of this one, maybe even a little bit more than the Batcave one. But the Batcave, I think, succeeds more than the minifigures because the minifigures in this one aren't really too special. There are lots of nice pieces in this set, and I think there's more pieces that could be used in a city setup and stuff like that than there can be in the Batcave, or just in general, more useful pieces in this set uh, besides the minifigures, because you know, the minifigures in the Batcave set are really cool. Um, I could name a few, which are this little window part right here in white, which is really nice and it only comes in this set so far. Uh, this little piece, this window piece, which is the same piece as the white one that I just pointed out, but with that printing on there, which could be used as a jail little part and doesn't really look too juniorized, except maybe for the little leaves on the bottom or the grass on the bottom. Um, and this gate is probably a bit too juniorized to be used in a setting or anything like that, so I would probably disregard that, but still it is pretty nice to have that. Also, there's this little printed tile right here, which may look just a bit too juniorized, but it could still probably be used on some city cars and stuff like that, so that's really nice. Also, it's nice to get the white motorcycle, even though it does come in a few sets. It's always nice to get motorcycles, in my opinion. Uh, and the value itself isn't really too good. It is 146 pieces for $30, but you do get all those nice, you know, printed pieces and stuff like that. And you, if you're going to buy this for a younger kid, I think they will enjoy the heck out of this if they're maybe under 10 or something like that. Because there's just so much stuff to play with in this set, and there's, it's such an easy build, so you could quickly build it if you're a more advanced builder when you're younger and play with it like that, or you could learn to build Lego sets and stuff like that from building this. So I think it just has so many. Uh, appeal like to multi-generations and stuff like that. For older builders like me, it's fun to play with, but mostly there's those really cool printed pieces that can be used in other stuff and those nice new molds. For younger builders, it's going to be fun to play with and really easy to build and stuff like that. So in that sense, I think this set really does succeed. And I'm willing to pay $30 for this, so I will give this set a B plus. Uh, like I said, maybe they should have improved the minifigures, maybe put some unique printing on them, um, and maybe put some more new pieces or useful pieces to appeal to us older builders, but from an older builder standpoint, you're going to actually find yourself playing with this set. And it could easily fit in a city or some of the pieces from here, so that really is cool. 
And that's really it for my review, and I will see you guys later. Bye.